Gather round, baby bats. Gather round, little darklings. It's getting late, and there are stories to be told. Her body is pressed against the railing of the bridge. She's admiring the starlight reflected in the river below us. She hears the flick of a lighter and turns to me with a grin on her face. Mind if I have one? She asks as she is enveloped by cancer effluvium and is washed away by the warming, intermingling scent of tobacco and autumn wind. I give her a cheeky smile and the cigarette between my fingers. Last one, I inform her. She holds it in her hand for a while, mouth agape. We'll split it. I only wanted a few drags anyway. She decrees as she looks back up at me, followed by the roused hiss of tobacco paper. Sounds good. The words melt out of my mouth. I'm always so imperturbable when I'm around you. I can reveal the darkest parts of myself, and you act as a light. I've in turn reciprocated that illumination. It never feels deliberate, though. It's as automatic as breathing or blinking. And I can't help but wonder if it's the same for you. I had almost forgotten what it was like to be in your presence. We always seem to find each other during these interstitial moments in our lives. It wasn't always like this, but I'm glad I'm seeing you now. You don't know it, but this was a much needed time for Solace. I haven't been able to tell anyone. Not even you. But during our comfortable blankets of silence, it's as though you understand. And for now, that's enough. Here. She says softly as she returns half a cigarette to my hand, a streak of cherry red cutting through the darkness. She wraps her arms around me and sinks into my chest. It's as though the spot had been made for her. I hear the muffled words, Thank you again, fight their way to my ears from the compressed confines between her lips and the fabric of my shirt. I give her my free arm and a little reassuring rub to her back. Don't mention it. Sleep tight, kiddos.